Hey everybody and welcome back to another Thursday Shuffle. I am your host, Mr. Peppers. That's right, we're back again with eight packs from Magic the Gathering's history. We've added a bunch of things to the pile here. Um, of course, what we did this week was we added some polls in uh, on YouTube there. And I also did a poll on Twitter um, where I asked what pack we should add to the slots that needed to be filled. Um, and I gave a bunch of options of things I have kicking around. Um, so we did the pack for Modern, and Modern was in a strad by a large margin. It was 35% of the vote um, on YouTube. Now, I, I sort of messed up, and the poll I did on Twitter didn't have enough space for five options, and Innistrad was the one I left off. And so it didn't get any votes on Twitter, but that's okay. So Scars was actually the second pack. Um, the pack that came in second, I guess, um, out of the ones available. And, um, but we're going to go with Innistrad because it got the most votes because the Twitter poll didn't get nearly as many votes as the YouTube poll did. So anyway, we've added that. And then we did a pack for the supplement set and Mystery Boosters won that pack uh, by a large margin as well, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just double check the poll here. But yeah, it uh, it won by a, a what, a 17% margin? over Modern Horizons. So Mystery Boosters is what got added here, but expect a new poll to come up. Um, it probably came up yesterday, actually, uh, when you're if you're watching this video on Thursday. Um, it probably came up, you know, in the middle of the week. Maybe it even came out earlier than that. I don't know when I'm going to put the polls up. I want to give the most amount of time for people to answer the poll before I pull the packs for the next week's video. So maybe I'll put the poll up on Monday. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, but anyway, we so we've added it. If you're unfamiliar with the series, welcome everybody. We open up two packs every week uh, from a random assortment of packs. And the way we do it is we put two standard, two modern or older packs, two pioneer packs, and two supplement packs into the pile. Then we roll our trusty D8 here, our trusty D8, um, and we pick two packs at random uh, to open up each week. So that way, every week, we open up a little bit something different than every other week. Uh, and hopefully you should never see a video in this series that matches a previous video we've ever done. That's kind of what I'm aiming for. Um, I don't know if that's something that's possible, and I'm sure that there will be a point where we end up with the same packs opened uh, just by happenstance. But the chances of it happening are, you know, very slim, especially if we don't add packs back to the pile that have been opened in the last two weeks, which is what we do. So the packs we open today will not be added back to the pile for at least two more weeks so that gives it a chance to like rotate some of the other packs out of the pile kind of thing. Um, and obviously we won't add like the same two packs that we opened this week won't get added back to the pile two weeks from now. It just means that that's the, you know, if, if for whatever reason, if I'm opening a standard pack today and let's say I open um, Ikoria or Theros, right, um, as the standard pack. I will not add that pack back for two weeks, but I won't add back, like, let's say we open Ikoria and Theros, I won't add both of them back at the same time. Only one will get added kind of thing. So anyway, let's get into it. Let's roll this D8, and we're going to roll it twice and pick two packs. So first off, we're doing six. And we're doing seven. So six and seven. So we're going to count down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and six. So we're doing Aether Revolt and Commander Legends. So we have Mystery Booster, Ra Guilds of Ravnica, Guild Pact, Ikoria Collector's Pack, Theros, and an Innistrad Pack left. Wait, yeah, yeah. So those are what's left in the pile. We'll add two new packs, and of course, I'll, set, I'll put up a list of what I have available. Obviously, the pool will contain some things that are similar to what the pool had previous weeks, um, because obviously those are the packs that I still have available. So obviously, we'll be putting them up. But um, I'll try to make sure the poll always has at least five options, so that way we have lots of choice. Um, anyway, so let's get into this. We've got Commander Legends and Aether Revolt. What should we do first? Let's do Commander Legends first, because that's like everyone's seen a lot of Commander Legends by now, right? Let's just get into it and see what we find. So we've got a Kite Sail Corsair, Gift of Paradise, Impulsive Pilferer, uh, Prying Eyes, Howling Golem, Ninth Bridge Patrol, Lissalana Bowmaster, Ghastly Demise, Core Cartographers, Silverback Shaman, Seer's Lantern, Lumen Grid Gargoyle, and our first uncommon is a Phenon Blade with a Pride of the Perfect and a Mask of Memory. Not a bad little uncommon, that's for sure. And then our rare is a Sweet Gum Recluse. 
So flash and cascade with reach for six mana. And it says when it enters the battlefield, put three 1 1 counters on each of any number of target creatures that entered the battlefield this turn. Put three 1 1 counters on each of any number of target creatures. Interesting. So the idea here is that when you cascade, and because you have flash, you can flash it in whenever. That's kind of interesting. All right. Interesting. And then we've got a Miara, Thorn of the Glade, and a Jury as our two commander cards from the pack. And then we've got a Foil Armillary Sphere with a Prismatic Piper in the back and a Monarch Token. All right. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. Little commander cards there. All right. Let's open up this Aether Revolt pack. What do you think? Do you think we'll get one of those... Uh, mythic inventions that don't exist in this set because they definitely don't exist. I opened up so much of this product. For those of you who are new to the channel, I opened up, I think it was like nine booster boxes, I think about seven or eight bundles, and then I opened an entire case of pre release kits plus a few more. Um, and I got one, I got a single, I got a single invention out of all of that and it came out of the pre-release kits like i i don't know embril gear smasher aether swooper decommission renegades getaway high spire infusion cruel finality destructive tampering filigree crawler implement of malice aegis automaton scrapper champion as our first uncommon Second uncommon is a Windkin ra Raiders. Aerial Modification. And our rare? Rishkar's Expertise. This is a pretty good rare. I like this rare actually quite a bit. Um, I, I think this is very good in Commander. Um, being able to essentially draw a bunch of cards for six mana and then play a card for five or less is very good. We got a Planes and an Energy Token, so no invention for us. But that doesn't surprise me at all. What a... <laughs> I am so shocked by this. Can you tell it from my voice? Anyway, thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I have been your host, Mr. Rivers. Stay tuned next week for another Thursday Shuffle where we'll add two new packs to the pile. Have yourselves a wonderful day, and as always, may your pulls ever be better.